Hey man, what's happening? It's cool water again. <clears throat> I'll do this video real quick. Um, I wanna. I'm, I'm strolling through Instagram, and like I said, the, the, you know, my, my premise right now is just gonna be responding to different events, commentary on social media and what have you. Um, I'm strolling through. I see Dante Lee from BlackNews.com, PR. BlackPR.com, reference Norman Lear. For many of you who do not know Norman Lear, Norman Lear is the white man who created Good Times, the Jeffersons, Archie Bunker, uh, Sanford and Son. He's the the Jew boy responsible for that video, for them, for them, I'm sorry, for them sitcoms. Dante Lee was making a post about Eric Monte. Eric Monte is alleged to have been the creator of Good Times and partially the Jeffersons to some degree. So I'm listening to Dante talk. Dante is saying, you know, it's not necessarily, we don't know if he solely was the sole creator of Good Times. Uh, the Jeffersons is questionable. And then he makes a comment about, you know, why would one sell, uh, take a million dollar settlement if you the sole creator or the creator of something like the Good Times? And I'm saying this, Dante, this Dante, I'm saying I'm speaking to Tay. Because I like Tay. I got Tay book. Tay got blackbusinesssecrets.com for y'all ain't checked it out. All the history that you know, because you know a lot of shit. You just don't be talking about it. Them white dudes put that boy, put that man in a chokehold where he could not fight back. He in Hollywood. He didn't have the money. He didn't have a muscle. He didn't have a power. He didn't have the relationships. He got on through some cat. I think you said Lionel, and it might have been Lionel who was going to help him do the play. When I did the research, he was telling the whole story. I think Lionel or somebody was helping him get ready to do the play. They ended up taking that same play or something to that effect to Norman Lear. That's how Norman Lear got the uh, content for Good Times. Okay. Monte, Monte didn't have a muscle, man. Monte didn't have the power. If you go back to slavery, you know when the slave created something, the master claimed it as his own. He took it. But no conversation about it. I was reading them uh, 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 in, in, in some, some, some of my books. You couldn't even get a business license unless a white dude approved it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for me, I'm saying, Dante, cut the BS. Dude didn't have no power. He settled out of court for a million because they forced his hand. You wasn't finna get no royalties. They like, man, we're not giving you no royalties. You're not gonna get no royalties. You're not finna eat off of this. We're not finna make your life comfortable for the rest of your life. You are just an employee, i.e. a writer. Norm Lear is the executive producer, creator. Anything that comes into the fold is going to be signed over to Norm because he owns the work. Same thing with the music business. When you create them songs, the record label own them. That's why they own the masters. Let's cut the bullshit. Y'all got to stop tap dancing around these topics, man. Y'all know good and damn well these dudes ain't trying to give up no rights, no royalties, when you can eat for life off of one show. One show, he'd have been paid for life. So what did Eric Monte end up doing? He got blackballed. He had to take the money because the, the attorneys weren't going to fight Norm. He didn't have enough money to fight Norm. Most of them lawyers in the city of, uh, in the city of Hollywood, Los Angeles, they weren't finna take the case because they weren't finna go up against the, 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 the uh, Jew boy. They weren't finna go up against him. You understand what I'm saying? They wasn't finna do that. They knew it was a losing situation. So they made Monte, Eric Monte an offer. They told Eric, we'll give you a million 
and you just go away. He ain't had no choice. So when y'all say, why would somebody take the, the, you know, take this and they got all the proof? He had to prove. He brought it. You bring the manuscripts, the original writings, did this time stamp, this copy written, that's the proof. The courts wasn't gonna, gonna, gonna give it over uh, to Eric. Even if he went to court and they say, yep, you the creator, they still would have made a situation where they would have went and honored Norman as the executive producer because he had the money. Do you know what I'm saying? He had the money. So y'all need to stop tap dancing and call a spade a spade. Norman Lear was a racist, right? According to Eric Monte, this is allegedly now, according to Eric Monte, but I can believe it because he grew up in that time period. He a hundred years old when he died. He died at a hundred. He grew up around the same time period my mom, my grandma, and them grew up. Most of these guys were racist, but they understood that they had to work with black folks, other minorities, other groups of people in order to get what they need to get done. Some of them other programs, some of them other shows, uh, uh, what is that, Sanford and Son. Somebody else, I think it was another brother or, 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 or you know, several writers that had, you know, that had that flavor that brought Sanford and Son. So, uh, uh, Red Fox was like, he wasn't, he wasn't with the BS. He had to sue. I think he had to sue. Sue uh, CBS or ABC or whoever behind the nonsense they was doing. They didn't want to pay that man. They didn't want to get that man no money. He was the comedian. He was the one that, that made that show hot. Norman Lear didn't even want to do half of the stuff according to Red Fox that he wanted to do because they didn't think it was going to fly. Old girl uh, from, 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 from Good Times, James Evans' wife, she had to convince them to give her a husband because they was finna put her in a single black mother's role and make her a single black woman raising these children like they do all the shows out here. Do you understand what I'm saying? So Eric Monte ended up getting on drugs. He ended up going homeless, you know, uh, Tried to make a comeback, but couldn't. You know, once you in Hollywood and you blackballed, ain't no coming back from that because everybody got the script. The, 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 the memo go around. Don't do no business with this nigga right here. Period. So to say that he, you know, why one would take a million dollars, especially in the 70s, it's because he didn't have no muscle. They was They forced his hand. Them white boys went finna get him no, no real money and then get him royalties and let him eat off of that and let him get paid for right as a writer and everything. They weren't finna do that. They confiscated, took the work, made it their own, compensated him for the for the for the for the effort, and told him to go on about his business. Then they blackballed him. Hence the reason you don't hear nothing else. Then they say, um, I think Eric was saying he got with uh some of the Wayne and brothers. He was trying to get with them to do some stuff. Um, some of the stuff that they had was kind of watered down, but they couldn't, they couldn't work together. So the word was going out too, that Eric Monte was difficult to work with. He was a perfectionist. He was somebody that was going to make you do it over and over and over again until it got right. He like Dr. Dre in the studio. You're going to get it right. If it take a hundred times, I'm the same way. I don't care about the money. We're going to make this shit perfect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because once it's done and it's gone, it's gone. But it's going to be so good and so much quality involved that everybody going to come back 10 times over. Same thing with Eric Monte. Monte went through that whole process. He tried to work with some other artists, modern artists, I think, coming up in the 80s. And a lot of them was like, nah, we ain't fooling with dude. We ain't fooling with dude. We heard about dude. They tried to work with dude. Dude was a little difficult. He had already got bit on the ass by Norman. So I just think, man, you all as creators got to stop tiptoeing around the racism that's really went on. It was racism, period. I'm trying to get my damn hat to act right. It was racism, period. That's why he took a million. That's why he didn't come out on top. That's why he didn't make that kind of money that he should have made. He thought he was going to make. He should have been a rich man. He should have walked out of there hella paid. 
If Norman made a hundred million, Eric Monte should have made ten. That's what led him to going home. That's what led him to getting on drugs. He depressed and the, the, the depression and the stress and not being able to get back to his craft and not being able to really do what was necessary for him to really eat. So he couldn't work because they bike balled him in Hollywood. No nigga in their right mind would take a million dollars when they know that the project is worth uh, 20 million or 50 million. They weren't finna make him no more deals. Them attorneys said, this is what you're going to get. You either take this or don't take nothing at all. If you take it to court, you're going to lose because they got the money. They can buy the judge. They can buy them all. So we got to look at this. We have to look at black entrepreneurship because this is what it is. This is why I wrote Who Killed the Black Entrepreneur. Eric Monte is an example of who killed the black entrepreneur. Uh, 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 Kanye West. Um, Kyrie Irving. Uh, Red Fox. The list goes on. This is why I wrote Who Killed the Black Entrepreneur? For the simple purpose of exploiting and showing the, the disconnect between our greatness and the, the, the dominant uh, uh, society, white establishment, when it comes to dealing business with us. Take all the royalties. You don't get no, when you get a, a record deal, they take all your royalties. You get a 360 deal now. Used to be they, they gave you a, a, a standard deal and you didn't get no royalties you just got points on the album. Now they want everything. You walk away broke. Do you understand? So we just got to look at it for what it is, man. We got to look at it for what it is. But 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 this is this is for Dante. Dante, the man, didn't want to take the million. He was forced to take the million. He had to take the million. There wasn't no other option. He was a black, broke. Young entrepreneur trying to build. He had no relationships. He didn't have access to capital. He didn't have no 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 people in his back pocket that he could call on that was gonna go up against a powerful dude like Norman. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, let's keep it a re let's keep it real and let's stop tiptoeing around these topics, man. When it come down to dealing with this real stuff, because at the end of the day, this is what people need to know: the reality of doing business with the European. We need to know that straight up. Leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you do, do what you do. Cool Water Digital Dope, man. You can check me out the blog, ishiphopdead.com. You can look for me at the home base site, thedigitaldopeman.com. Peace and stay blessed. Holla.